Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Hyatt Buick GMC in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I am checking out a 2015 GMC Terrain, and this one is the SLT1, um, and that's kind of the middle to the high range as far as options go. Um, you can get the SLT2 or the higher packages like the Denali um, package, but this one is a, a good kind of middle of the road it has a lot of features that you I think you will find useful and um, so let's check it out so here in the front now this one does have the chrome appearance package which gives you um, a lot of chrome it is, does give you the 18 inch uh, chrome clad wheels and also the uh, the chrome grille which is like a three-dimensional grille here in the front uh, now you do have the projector halogen projector tube halogen headlights and you do have projector fog lights as well. You see the little little tiny projector tube at the bottom. And just want to mention that um, at Hyatt, if you buy a vehicle, a new vehicle from them, they do give you a lifetime uh, powertrain warranty. That's what that that sticker there on the uh, windows um, means. So I think that's a really good, um, you know, really good way of earning your business. So checking out the terrain, it is a crossover SUV, so it's not a, it's not a large SUV, but it's not a small car. It does kind of give you the best of both worlds um, in that respect. Now one of the features it has, this one does have a 2.4 liter four cylinder engine with a six speed automatic. And I'm gonna go ahead and start up that engine with the remote start which this one does have so I'm gonna make sure it's locked push the lock button and then push and hold the remote start until the engine starts and then now I can you know push the button there and unlock all the doors let's take a look at the profile here now the color of this is called iridium which is kind of like a kind of like a gray but not really like a gray I'm not really sure how to explain it maybe you can see it uh, when the, in the sun here but um, here's the fuel cap here and it is on the passenger size so you want to keep that in mind a uh, little plastic string here wraps around this little thing a uh, little holder for it so it dangles your cap out here away from the vehicle so it doesn't scratch your paint Now looking at the back of the vehicle, you may notice that it does have the parking sensors back here. Those little circles here, those are your parking sensors. It will alert you if you get too close to something uh, while you're backing up. You also have this uh, backup camera. There's a the little lens here for that. So um, just standing here, I can go ahead and use the key and push and hold it and open up the back. Now that you can adjust it to where it doesn't go all, all the way if you want to. There is a, a, a knob for that in the front, which I'll show you. So looking here in the back, you do have um, you know pretty good amount of cargo area space. You also have a place to put some small stuff there and there. You do have a subwoofer back here um, that goes along with the Pioneer premium sound system that it has. Power supply is right here, 12 volts, in case you want to plug in something. And um, this one does come with the cargo mats and the heavy duty um, rubber mats for the entire vehicle actually. Got some tie downs there on the side. And under here is your spare tire and tools. And you want to pay attention to this. When you're looking at new cars now, 2014, 2015, some of them do not come with a spare tire so you want to make sure that you are aware of whether you're buying a vehicle with a spare tire or not and not find out the hard way when you're on the side of the road somewhere so lowering the tailgate you just push that button there you can of course use the key if you wanted to but pushing that button is a quick and easy way of just lowering it down Alright, let's take a look at the back seat. Here's the inside of the back door. It is um, soft to the touch here, 
in here, um, the rest of it's kind of like ABS plastic. You do have a bottle holder there, as well as some pockets around there, as well as here. Your window control, and then opening up the door, you do have a speaker back here on the bottom of the door. Now check out these seats. The interior is all leather, and uh, the seats are have the perforations here in the back, as well as the front. Um, but look at the, the, the uh, like, uh, not completely white, but like off-white looking, or real super white, light tan. And then you've got the uh, the black around here with the red stitching. And there's a bench seat, so you can fit three people back here. And when you only have two, you can lower this armrest, and you also have some cup holders. And you do have a 12 volt power supply there. And you can see that the the leg room, the seats are quite, I mean, quite a bit off the the floor. To where you do, um, you know, your legs don't, you know, your knees are not sticking up in the air. Uh, it is a pretty comfortable um, second row back seat. And you've got these nets here for putting some junk. All right, so these seats do fold down in case you need some extra cargo capacity and less um, passenger capacity. And it is a 60 40 split, so basically, you know, you can have a combination of cargo and passengers, however, however you need to have it. There's the window sticker, just so you can get an idea of what's um, on this particular vehicle. Feel free to use the pause button. It does have heated side mirrors. All right, so here's the inside of the driver's door. Now you notice the difference, and look. See, here's the back door. See, it's a lot less stuff and it has um, just a more stylish look to me. You see it does have the stitching, the red stitching. You also have that little red liner in the bottom of that pocket that kind of sets that off. Looks pretty cool. And you got the bottle holder there. You got the Pioneer badge for the premium sound system. And you got your window controls, your door lock controls are here, and then your side mirror adjustments are right there. power adjustment on the seat. You do you have the ability to adjust the seat, but also your lumbar support is right here. So you can adjust your back and get that on. You can adjust your back when you're on a long trip. Car seats, seats in cars, not just baby seats, but uh, the seats in cars are, um, that's very important as the comfort to me because you're pretty much stuck in a certain you know position. You can't really get up while you're driving unless you actually stop, find a place to stop and all that. So the position of the seat, the comfort of the seat is very important to me when I'm picking out a vehicle. And that's one good thing about the uh, GMC Terrain is they have the high quality seats that are very comfortable and stylish looking. I mean, I'm really impressed with the style of these seats. All righty, let's hop in. You notice know, the climate controls on, the engine's running, but all the lights, interior screens and stuff are turned off. The reason why, because I use the remote start. And the remote start, you still have to use the key when you get in. The key still has to be in the ignition. Um, you have to put it in there and turn it on. And then that, so now, everything's gonna come to life. Um, I'm gonna turn the fan down because I am actually trying to get some audio on this video as well. This vehicle is in demonstration mode, connected by OnStar's high-speed 4G connection. Press the blue OnStar button to learn more. Okay, so it's just giving me a message there. And uh, when it does give you messages, it will, um, it will dim out not only the radio, but also the fan. You notice the fan has some, some noise to it. So like say um, all of a sudden the fan dims out, that means there's a message coming through the, the, the system there. All right, so hand stitched leather steering wheel. And it has the little bulges here to give it a sportier look and a better grip. Cruise control is on this side. Um, your volume is here. Um, made a mistake, sorry. Your cruise control is on this side. Let me start on this side. This is your volume. This is through change through your stations. 
and this is for your Bluetooth phone. So, so like say your um, you have a voice recognition system, and you also have a Bluetooth um, connectivity for your phone. And to do both of those things, you just push this button, and you can say commands like call a certain person, or you can say go to a certain play, uh, location on a on a uh, on your navigation. You can also say turn to a certain station. Um, now, if somebody calls you, you can push that button to answer the phone. So this button right here has a couple different um, uses, lots of different uses actually. When you start factoring in all the commands, you can say uh, this is for hanging up the phone or muting um, the audio. Now this is the cruise control. It's a little bit more um, uh, more advanced than just the regular cruise control. You do have the on and off button and cancel, and you can set it. You can also adjust your speed, um, like so. But also, it does have the collision alert system and the lane departure system kind of added to the system here. Now, um, I'm just going to push this collision alert button so you can see what I'm talking about. See where it says I keep pushing it, it gives me different distances from the vehicle in front of me. It will alert me if, um, if I'm. Uh, get it going towards the vehicle at a certain speed and it looks like I'm gonna hit them it's gonna kind of alert me so uh, if you want to change it to where it's only when you're very close you can do that or you can do it very far wherever you want to do it or you can just turn it off now the lane departure warning system is let you know that if you're driving along it keeps an eye on the um, the markings on the road and it'll let you know if you start swerving off the road and it'll, it'll beep at you or whatever but um, you can turn that off and it only works if the you know, the lines on the road are, are clear and easily easy to read alrighty you do have your uh, your headlight controls turn signal controls on that side and then on this side your windshield wipers and all that good stuff front and back alright so here's your gauges you got your speedometer on the right your um, RPMs on the left your fuel gauge there at the top as well as your temperature but you also have this uh, digital gauge readout of your um, of different information right now it's set to miles per hour um, there's a bunch of different settings there and you can control that with these buttons here so I'm just gonna push menu just to kind of um, show you those two tabs there at the top so I'm gonna go into um, push the down arrow so you can see your trips uh, your fuel range average fuel economy um, you can give the actual uh, fuel economy in that second um, average vehicle speed as you can see there's a brand new vehicle uh, has a timer and then you can have some navigation information there uh, you can have the menu off or you can go back to the speed there's some stuff in there um, that you you don't always have to look at it but it's in there in case you need it so right now um, so the speed is the most relative I guess in most cases while you're driving now you do have the that that W at the bottom right is telling me that the vehicle is facing west. The the left means us that P stands for park. I'm in park. So those some you know useful information there. So now now you notice this is kind of a you know a little bit retro looking relative to this full color uh, touch screen display over here, and it is um, under this little canopy there to avoid the sun glare and um, so anyways let's go ahead and push this home button and it takes us to all these icons and you this is your radio this is your navigation your phone um, so like see so your net uh, your phone your your radio tells you what station you are and you can change it or whatever uh, you can AM FM satellite radio navigation you can push that and you can see your map you can also put in a specific destination and it'll take you there. It's a, a full um, navigation system. All right, and then your phone. Uh, there's no phone paired now, but once you pair a phone, you'll be able to access your, your phone book, um, recent calls, um, different things like that in, the, um, in that screen there. And then you've got, uh, you know, it's telling you the AM and then FM satellite radio. You can also play music through your cell phone, whether it be Pandora, or if you actually have music on your cell phone, you can play it through the Bluetooth system once it's paired. So there's lots of cool stuff you can use this touchscreen for. You also have a volume button here, 
shooting through the stations or or um, the tracks or whatever on a, on a media device you do have your your um, your presets there and your favorites and the home button and the back button and all that good stuff and uh, navigation it's kind of redundant buttons down here for the most part now this does have a CD player there's the eject button the CD player is located down here in this little place here just below the climate control to lock and unlock the doors is here right there uh, not on uh, you know you can lock and unlock the doors and uh, you can also lock and unlock the doors on the door and of course the key and all that stuff but you notice it's got some redundant buttons you know you got extra buttons this is what you know what I'm getting at the climate controls there's your fan speed there's your temperature there's your, where you want the air to blow um, I'm going to turn that on and uh, you do have heated seats here in the front so your driver and passenger you can adjust it for full blast all the way down to low and then off that kind of stuff there and those are the buttons there for um, that screen CD players there then you've got this pretty handy storage pocket with a power supply there in the back you can see it better if it's opened up because it's kind of dark in there there's a power supply in there and you a pretty good place to put your cell phone this button eco mode that gives you your your best gas mileage so basically pushing that button will tell the computer and the vehicle that you want to save gas it's not going to be the best as far as performance anymore when that's um, engaged so here's your shifter and it's pretty much a you know basic shifter you see in a lot of vehicles uh, put it in putting it in reverse well, not only you hear that beep, well, it'll tell you um, if you're, it engages your parking sensors in the back, but also your backup camera here pops up. And you notice it has some lines there. So if I turn the steering wheel, those lines will actually move and give me an estimated trajectory of the vehicle and also give me an estimated size of the vehicle once it reaches that certain point. And it, it does give me uh, a view from the bumper all the way to the sky so it is a wide angle lens so you can see where the edges are a little bit distorted and the, that's the purpose of the lines to give you an, more of an estimate of how big the vehicle is going to be and where it's going to go so it kind of gives you um, some context there so moving the shifter down you got neutral drive which is your normal drive position down here is manual mode so basically that's what these buttons here are for plus and minus right here on the screen you can see it says m1 um, i'm going to change it to two three four five six that's changing through the gears now it's not going to let you start off in six gear it's going to give you some more reasonable gear ratios but it does give you some ability to downshift and upshift when you need to do that especially going down a hill or something this is your traction control button here, and uh, you can turn that off. Default is on when you start the vehicle. You can turn it off. This is only for if you get stuck, you need to spin tires, rock the vehicle, that kind of stuff. That's pretty much the only time you want to turn that off because it is a very good safety feature um, or anytime else. There's your cup holders. They are separated with an empty space in case you want to put a cell phone or something there. There's a little pocket um, for change or whatever. Now this is an armrest but it's also a storage compartment when you lift it up you do have this tray that comes out and just to warn you um, I'm like hearing an echo because this thing's so deep that just to warn you that you're gonna basically put a bunch of junk in there and lose it and try to dig through it and find it and so just to warn you this is uh, a big these big storage compartments that are that go down for miles um, you know they are going to be a little bit of a, a hassle when they get start getting cluttered but anyways it does have a power supply in there as well as a USB and an auxiliary input too and this um, grooves here for wires to go in and out of it so put that back that close that take a look at the glove compartment very big big glove compartment massive actually for the size of the vehicle all right 
So rear view mirror is here and it has a OnStar button in the center, but um, but also see if it'll focus on there. Okay, so they got the OnStar button, you got the emergency button, you also have an assistance button there on the left. And uh, it is an auto dim rear view mirror, so there's a little light sensor here, which allows you to um, not be blinded by people behind you with their high beams, lights, bright lights, or whatever. It will dim the mirror and um, and save your uh, your eyesight, your night vision. All right, moving up here, these are your garage door controls, and uh, this I believe is a little ambient light uh, for nighttime. I'm not 100% sure on that. It may be a temperature sensor. This is for your interior lights. Now, you can turn them on, you can have the turn on with the door, or you can just have them completely off. If you need a specific reading light, you can turn that on like so. This is the knob here uh, that you can change the rear tailgate to where uh, it goes up all the way, three quarters of the way, or just completely off. And these buttons are for your sunroof. So the sunroof has a shade. You can move that back, and you can you can tilt it up, get some airflow through, or you can open it up all the way, completely um, get lots of air. Or if you can just close off all the the sun if you need to. bit of a zoom out so you can see a little bit bigger picture here of the interior winds blowing pretty good outside on the flag that's on it. Alrighty, so let's take a look at that 2.4 liter engine. Or at least attempt to, it might be covered up with plastic. Yeah, it's pretty much covered in plastic. But it's a 2.4 liter Ecotec. It does have a VVT system to allow you to get better gas mileage with more power. Uh, oh, I thought I saw metal. Hmm. No, I guess I was wrong. It's all plastic. Oh, wait a minute, here's some metal. Yeah. Now I feel better. <laughs> all right, well, it's got the GMC embossed there in the, in the top. But the GMC Terrain, I think is a very good option for a lot of people. Um, I would definitely consider this as an option when you're uh, considering a small uh, crossover SUV. It has a it's, a, it's a little bit longer wheelbase than other, uh, other SUVs of this size, so it has a little bit better ride. Uh, you can get a V6 in this vehicle. Um, you can get some super classy options with, say, the Denali package, stuff like that. Um, so, and GMC is just a solid company, so it's hard to argue with, um, with you know, big name brands. Anyways, thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. If you could, you know, like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Um, if you can, you know, support my channel any way you can, uh, whether it be monetarily or just sharing videos, I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to get more content, more variety, and more frequent uploads. So if you can help me out with that, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and thank you, Hyatt Buick GMC, for allowing me to share this vehicle with the world. Thanks for watching. See you next time.